Now let us look at some of the nuances of a hammer. Just because I say that the hammer is very easy to identify and even school kids can do that, then uh, trading would have been very easy. Everybody would have made money. So it's what I'm here to say is that it's not as easy as it looks. So there are some nuances which we need to understand. Okay. I'm going to share with you some of the nuances here. Okay. I discuss uh, the hammer in more detail in the level one uh, digital training program that I have. But uh, here I will just touch upon a few. This is very important. See, the question here is which one is not a hammer? Now, if you look at all these candles, every, every candle is a hammer, right? Uh, the lower shadow is more than twice the height of the real body. The real body is small. The upper shadow is small. So, Everything looks like a hammer. So we can go ahead and say that, okay, all four candles are hammer. But I am here to tell you that none of this is a hammer. Okay. None of this is a hammer. And I will tell you the reason why. Look at this. Now, every candle is a hammer. In the previous slide, we did not know what the prior trend was, whether the hammer is coming from after an uptrend or whether it is coming after a downtrend. My coach uh, Steve Nissen says that the prior trend is as important as the candlestick itself. So this is a little nuance that we all need to understand. Another nuance is that if you look at this candle and this candle, which one do you think is more bullish? The hammer of course is a bullish sign, but we also need to understand which one is more bullish and which one is less bullish. Of course, this one is more bullish because it doesn't have any bearish upper shadow. So that's another bit of nuance that we need to understand. So these are the small things that if we pay attention to, our trading success rate is likely to increase. So for example, if this, if, if this is a standalone hammer on the chart and this is a hammer that confirms prior support, which one do you go with? Of course, I will go with this one because it is confirming prior support. This is not confirming prior support. Okay. So, of course, I will go with this candle, not this candle. Although I know that this one is this one is going to be more powerful than this one because it, it all depends on the market context. If this is confirming prior support and this is not confirming prior support, I will go with this one rather than this one. Even though this has a bearish upper shadow. Okay, so those are some uh, little nuances that we need to understand and always keep the trend in mind. Okay. Now look at this. Now those traders which are amateur traders who do not understand the hammer correctly might look at this candle and say, wait, this is a hammer. Let's take a long position here. So they will buy here thinking that this is a hammer. But look at the prior trend here. It is coming after an uptrend. Okay. A hammer is a bullish signal which comes after a downtrend. So if you have a downtrend, then you have the hammer that's called as a hammer but after an uptrend if you see this candle this is not a hammer absolutely this is not a hammer so there is no there is nothing you cannot buy on this or you cannot take a long position on this because this is not a hammer at all this is a daily chart of sun pharma so imagine you don't know you don't understand how to use the hammer correctly and you look at this and you say, okay, this is a hammer and you take a long position. This is what happens. Okay. So that's your loss because this is not a hammer. You bought here thinking that it's a hammer. Is that a hammer? Yes, because it is coming after a nice downtrend which started from here. Lower shadow, more than twice the height of the real body, the real body near the upper end of the trading range. Okay. So these are some things that you need to understand. Another thing here is, this is very obvious, the lower shadow is not more than twice the height of the real body. So this is not a hammer. This is not a hammer at all. Okay. So we need to be able to correctly identify what is a hammer, what is not a hammer. Now here, which hammer is most, more, most bullish? So now the question itself says that all of them are hammer, which means that all of them are coming after a downtrend okay so the question is which one is most bullish now if we compare these two these two are black 
black bodies. So let us reject these two up front because the hammer is a bullish, bullish candle. So let us reject these two up front compared to these two. Now if you look at these two, this has no shadow at all, upper shadow relative to this. Okay? So that means this is the most bullish of all, all these four hammers, assuming all the four are hammers. Okay? So we need to be able to identify the strength of the hammer as well. So which is what I cover in detail in my level one training program. Okay, So we don't have time to cover everything in the crash course. So I am just giving you a, a, a quick idea as to what are the nuances that we look at when we are analyzing a candlestick pattern. Okay, Another nuance is this one. Is that a hammer? If you analyze this, First condition is satisfied, it is coming after a downtrend. Second condition, the lower shadow is more than twice the height of the real body. Again satisfied, no problem because the, low, the body itself is so small. Third condition, there should be no upper shadow, satisfied. Fourth condition, the real body should be as small as possible, right? Again satisfied, it is the smallest of all, it doesn't have any real body, okay? So in my view, that is a hammer. Right, so that's a special kind of a hammer, and which is which is very powerful. This is also called, by the way, as a dragonfly doji, because this is a doji candle. Remember the doji candle I discussed, that uh, it, the candle which opens and closes at the same uh, at the same price. In this case, the open low open high and the close are the same. The low is different. Okay.